I thought I would share my A-level sketchbook for art. Um, I recently found this literally a couple of days ago and um, this is book one of two and with this is a painting so if I do find the second book um, then I'll definitely um, do a video on that as well. Um, in terms of the painting I do have that so I'll definitely film that as well. Um, so this is the sketchbook, this I got an A on which I was quite proud of actually. Um, it looks more like a scrapbook that's just how I used to decorate my sketchbooks. I don't do that anymore, obviously at university level you kind of just don't really um, do the whole scrapbooking thing but um, luckily A levels I did manage to kind of get away with it. Um, and um, yeah this was based on um, African art and animals. So I think first of all we just looked ge generically um, at things together as a group and then we were able to kind of branch out. So I have a mind map on African animals. I don't know how but then I started to look at Pablo Picasso. I'm not sure how that happened um, but there he is. Well, he was on the other page. Um, there's his work. Um, a lot of this is writing, which um, we had to do a lot of analysing. Um, and then a drawing of a mask. So this is the mask that I drew. So that's the one that I drew. And then um, looking at a lino artist um, who also did African art. And then doing my own lino of the mask that I drew. And again. And this was the hippo. Onto newspaper, which I thought was quite genius, <laughs> um, but not really. Um, and then experimentation of drawing um, a parrot in lots and lots of different um, mediums, so coloured pencil, um, watercolour, coloured pencil I think that is, and then this I think is graphite. I have a parrot that looks just like him, except he's an African grey, not a macaw. Um, just thought I'd let you know. Uh, quick experiments. This is mono print, I believe. And then I did a drawing of an elephant, which is that one. This is a drawing that I started when I got to this page. And then once I even finished my painting, which was the last thing I technically did, I still kept drawing over this elephant. I just kept shading and shading and shading, even though it was technically done. I just kept going over it, um, I'm not really sure why, but I just kept going over it. Um, and that was the drawing that I actually copied. And then I reviewed it. I swear it takes much longer to review and analyse some of these things than it actually did to uh, draw them. And then this was a picture that I then copied. And those were the kinds of shading and pastel things that I did. That probably made no sense. And then this is the copy. I think mine is a little bit too bright. This is a little bit more not so bright. And then a review. Um, and an an a whole analysis on that one picture. There is more writing in this book than there are drawings. Um, I don't even know how that's possible uh, for art. And then photographs from the zoo. And then just some drawings of, you know, the colours and things like that. And then from a photograph that was taken, I did my own little Pablo Picasso version of a zebra. And then this one, which was a, I can't even remember. What is this, a snake, maybe? I'm not even sure. Hmm. No idea. And then a mixed media collage of just some leaves and 
I don't even know what I was doing here. And then looking at Henry Rousseau, um, you guys probably know that I am now doing fashion um, and textiles at degree level, my second year. Um, Henry Rousseau actually was inspired, inspired should I say, Valentino on one of their recent uh, haute couture collections. So if you haven't already seen that, it's quite interesting. There's all the leaves and the tiger and all um, appliqued onto a Valentino gown. Just thought I'd let you know that. <laughs> and um, so looking at him and some of his work, Tiger in a Tropical Storm, which is actually the, Valen the collection Valentino, well, the painting that Valentino was inspired by. Analysis, again, they just don't seem to end. And then a bit of etching as well, which is that on a bit of acrylic using a um, screwdriver or something like that to just scratch into it. That hurt a lot. <laughs> it's a painstakingly killing thing. Um, so a bit of drawing in watercolour first and then the etching and then I just put some watercolour over the top of the etching as well. Um, a leaf drawing using some chain stitching to do some embroidery bringing my fashion into this a little bit. Um, batik, well that's not batik, those are examples of batik. This is the batik of an elephant, the drawing that I did before. The texture of an elephant, that's just a photograph. Um, another batik, this again is the elephant but if I show you properly Yeah, I mean, you can only really tell out the eye, uh, <laughs> but, you know, that is the elephant. And then some leaf drawings, and then I think I just photocopied it and then did some ink onto that. And then some more leaf drawings, and then, of course, I did go into my second sketchbook. Um, which I will definitely try and find, and uh, maybe even my GCSE books as well. Um, I'll definitely try and maybe make some videos on that if you are interested. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to see something in particular, definitely do let me know in the comment section below. Um, and yeah, take care. Bye!